Hey guys, and welcome back to more War of Guns Gun Disassembly. Today we're doing the Kiapa Rhino. So this is a gun that I see requires credits and experience, but we have a bank of credits. Um, if you're not aware, every time you complete a gun at championship rating, you get a credit. Um, you can also purchase credits. I think the store is down here. Um, however, you don't really need to. Um, you can save a lot of credits by buying these two packs, the four sports card pack and the five dinosaur pack. Um, that pretty much means that you get all the sports cards that are now released and will be released in the future. Same as with the dinosaurs. They're much cheaper than buying the credits and you get all future releases. That's why I bought them. You don't need to. Um, pretty much what I'm saying is you don't need to buy credits at all. You can get all your credits by completing the guns. So we're going to spend five credits and 160,000 XP to get the Kiappa Rhino. So, also, so the Kiappa Rhino, it's a pretty key space because you can't get past this area here without buying it. Um, you, because the flak over here also takes credits. So, it's kind of like a credits to entry area. So, we're safe. We can buy all these guns. Also, you need to buy the Kiappa to get the Spaz 12. So, Keep that in mind as well. Same thing with Nagant. You can't unlock Nagant M1895 without buying the Kiappa Rhino. So it's a pretty important um, weapon to buy. So let's hop into the field strip here. 200DS is the model. So I didn't know there was different models of the Kiappa Rhino. But I don't know that much about the gun to begin with. So pop or the cylinder open, move the grip screw, grip, lock plate. So we're just doing a field strip here guys, we're not doing a full assembly. Um, usually when you're doing a field strip you just want to get up to the mechanism so you can clear, clean them. So with the side plate off we can clean our weapon, uh, get into all the mechanisms, make sure they're clean and then we can once we have them all cleaned and good, we can just reassemble it. So yeah, a lot of metal, very solid gun. 357 Magnum. So, solid. Let's hop into the disassembly. Okay. So, can you move the cylinder right away? Okay, let's remove our cylinder and dismantle it right away. Extract the rod head, check the spring. Okay, it looks like there is swing axle pin underneath, which allows you to pull the cylinder. You can then remove the extractor, extract the rod assembly. And then just the cylinder pins. <coughs> I apologize if that cough was audible. Okay. Pull the cylinder insert. The extractor plunger. And the cylinder hook. So not too bad. A lot of pieces to the cylinder, but that's to be expected. Okay, so we can go underneath. Hold our grip screw. Pull off our grip. And why don't we do these front pieces quickly here first, before we get into anything else. So we have the barrel, one solid piece, front side assembly, cylinder on hook pin assembly. Not sure what that's for, but single action flag assembly. And then the whole lock plate, as we saw. Okay. So start with the single action lever and move down here to the main spring. I'm guessing maybe here, yeah. Cocking lever, external hammer spring, external hammer. We should be able to move this pin. Let's move the cylinder release plunger. On the opener, hammer spring lever, and 
Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to click on the pins. Hammer. And that will probably have a... No, that's one solid piece, actually. Okay. Interlock lever. So let's remove the trigger assembly. It has a couple pieces. Still the lock assembly. Connecting rod assembly. This includes the return lever assembly. And the lifting lever. Then you can move these pins. Boop, 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 boop. Reach shield assembly. Firing pin assembly. Reach shield pin. Perfect! So it looks complicated, but it's actually not too bad if you pay attention to all your little pieces and their orders. It's going to be a little bit of a difficult um, game modes, but not too bad. It's It can be memorized. Extractor plunger. Oop, that's actually for that piece, which is fine. Okay, let's put on the breach shield. Then we can put it back in all our little pins. Ooh, but the only hard part is remember which one goes together first. Well, the trigger, I know we took off. Okay, so trigger goes back in. Um, okay, not an interlock lever. It's not the grip screw. But I don't know why you'd even click that. Okay, lifting lever. So you almost have to memorize where they go as well. That's going to be the hard part is memorizing which pieces go where as well. Um... Not the hammer. Okay. Okay. I was saying it was easy, but now the pieces all look the same. No. Oh, sorry. We're. Oh, maybe those weren't next, but definitely not next. But single action lever. Okay. Turn action levers. Oops. Not cock on the yet. And not that spring. That's a Swiss cylinder some. Okay, okay. Oh, we have pieces that have to go back on. Nope, the hammer just goes back in. Nope. Okay, that main spring goes in really late. Hammer spring lever. That's what I was missing. There's a little pin that's like hiding behind the hammer. Okay, then cocking lever. Then mainspring. Once you have the mainspring on, you can throw your lock plate back up. So there'll be a bit of memorizing there actually to get the right pieces. Okay. But anyway, put our single action fag assembly back together. Um, we can put our barrel back together. Our front side assembly and our cylinder unlock pin assembly. Okay. Okay, we've got to reassemble our cylinder. We know these cylinder pins going right away. We know that rod goes back on the cylinder. Cylinder rotational axis has to go back in. Um, cylinder, cylinder insert, cylinder hook. Then I think the cylinder goes back on, yeah. Okay. Okay. Swing axle. Ejector spring. Oh, okay. Um, does the grip have to go in first before the... Before the cylinder can go back on? Or am I missing a piece? I wouldn't think I was missing a piece. I must be missing something. Hmm. Guess we'll have to use a hint here. Oh! That piece? Oh! The one piece I didn't click on. Okay. A little bit to this gun actually to remember, but not too bad. So, perfect. 
top of the operation for the Chiano Rhino 200DS. So, as always, do a regular fire, spin the cylinder, same for every gun. Let's hop into slow motion fire. See, that's our. Oh, that's it hits the one on the bottom. I'm used to always hitting the one on the top. Okay. See, that's the the, the blank. Far to empty. You just kind of pop. Oops. Don't really need to slow down for that. Fire a couple more rounds there. So yeah, it's a pretty pretty generic revolver action. So I know another thing to do would be to cock the hammer. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this this gun and we'll be back in the next one for more. Thanks guys. Later.